Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for from now until the end of October. And it's funny, I was going to do Aries next, but I told my friend, who's a Leo, my best friend, that uh, I was going to do Leo next. And so I was all set to do Aries, and then I remembered that I had told her I would do Leo next. And I was did a reading for her like two days ago, and I used I used this deck. And I was explaining to her, I said to her, you know, it's funny. I said, every time I go to use this deck, the card that usually is on top is for that next reading. It's funny how that is. And I just happened to pick up this deck and I've used this deck since then. And you guys are right on top. She's going to see this and she's going to be like, wow. I mean, she got to see it happen the other day anyway, in, in reality. You know, I went to pick up the deck and the first card was for her. And this is, and it, this is crazy because here we are. It was I was meant to do your reading next because we have your card right on top and she'll she'll get it right away because this is what I said to her. Anyway, so you guys have found your strength, right? You have. You found your strength, you found your courage, you found your willpower and your discipline to let go of something that didn't serve you, right? It's like your concentration has come back. You're starting to open up again. Your oneness has been found. It's like that force within you has been relit, right? It has. So congratulations. It's funny how that happens. But I'm going to cut it again for you guys here and see what comes up. You know how I always do this. You guys probably see me do that a lot. Ooh, the world card. So we have a major new beginning. It looks like you guys are are turning your back on something or you have. There's one chapter in your life is, that is closing and you are about to embark on a brand new journey, a brand new chapter, right? Um, the future looks really, really br bright. It looks like you guys are putting yourself, you guys are getting centered, right? You're putting yourself right where you need to be to be successful and head in this new direction you got this is the the biggest completion of them all i mean it's the last card in the deck you've learned some sort of lesson and it's time for you to to start on a new project now project can be anything right it can be leo what do we have for leo for the rest of this month Typically, my readings are love readings. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is the vice versa deck. There's stuff on both sides, so we don't do reversals, okay? Because there's two meanings, whatever side comes up. And I read intuitively, so you guys probably already know that. This is the death of an idea. It is. It's like... You guys are letting something go that was a dead end. Letting go of some sort of emptiness. Taking time to release it. Even though it may be a little disheartening to have to let it go. It looks like you... You're doing it. You're going through a period and it feels like you're... Not only are you releasing it physically, you're releasing it internally and you're taking the time for it to release, allowing. Oh, that beautiful five of swords, queen of cups, six of cups. Seven of Wands. You may be... Re I mean, the chills have just arrived. My whole body just got a huge chill right through it. There's some sort of connection with someone from your past. There's a reconnection with somebody from your past. It's like you've... And you're glad to see them. It's like, hey! And this person's glad to see you too. So I think that you... Are, like I said, you guys are taking the time to go within to master your emotions and release something that was toxic. And because you are allowing it,
you're putting yourself back on top, there is some sort of reconnection with someone from your past. Someone that is was an acquaintance. It's like, I don't think you've dated this person. I think this is an acquaintance that you run into or you... didn't expect to see. I think this is out of the blue. All of a sudden, out of the blue, there's this reconnection. And it's like, hey, how are you? Huh? It's not something is going to happen very quickly for you. Oh my gosh. Wow. Perfect. It's zoomed right in. It is perfect. This is a perfect scenario of some sort. It's a blessing. I think this, this breakdown that you have been through has brought in you some sort of blessing. It was a blessing in disguise. This is the star card. Whatever it is that you have had to let go of and take time to recuperate from has given you some sort of insight that has made you stronger. Remember, because we had the strength card at the beginning. I think you were dealing with a person that really brought you down. This person really brought you down, may have caused you some financial distress as well. And I feel like you are in the process of taking back your power and headed down a new path. It looks like you are taking steps in a new direction. I think you've made the decision to do so. And I feel like there's a lot of, this is a time of hope, it's a time of inspiration, and it's a time of wish fulfillment. Yeah, you may be you may be a little down and you may have been brought down by a person with a big ego, but you aren't staying down. It doesn't look like you're staying down because it looks like you are going within. You're going within to heal. And this is healing as well. And I feel like because you are really taking the time to feel this pain and deal with it, things are happening very quickly, especially with that world card. You know, you have completed a, a chapter in your life and I think that things are changing very, very quickly for you because you are really using this to your advantage. It's, it's like you're not staying down. You're not staying down. It feels like you're ready to start on that new journey right now. It's like you're ready with this fool card. It's like I'm, I'm ready to fly. It's like you're not staying down. This person that brought you down can't keep you down. Okay, because you're you've you're back on top just like that. It's like you're standing tall. It looks like you're ready to fight any battle. You have a lot of confidence. It's like this person, they may have taken your confidence for a minute, but not not for very long. Um, I see that there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. There's a there's a coming together that. Is happening very very quickly it is I think that you are receiving communication could be text messages could be Facebook messages could be anything but you're receiving communication from somebody that you were acquainted with a long time ago that you haven't seen in a really long time and it really boosts your confidence it really does This is extreme happiness, it is. You have some extreme happiness coming, and it's because you're willing to start over. You know, it's like you're not staying down. That's all I can say is you're not staying down. You're ready for this fresh start. I mean, the Fool card is a new beginning. So you have a new beginning here. 
And it's like you're not even holding on to the past, the past dead end situation for even a minute. It looks like you're not holding on to it. Um, now, this star card is like heaven sent. It's like heaven has stepped in and they're sending you some sort of blessing. And whatever this blessing is, it's coming quick. It is coming quick. And I think this blessing, blessing involves some sort of partnership. A new partner, perhaps? Because this is a new beginning, perhaps even a new partner. Interesting, huh? Look what just is on the... Now look. The sun card, which is you. Right? You guys have been... And this is kind of like sadness. You were being protected, trust me. The, whatever this is up here that didn't work out, you were being protected. It's like heaven was protecting you by making you stronger. Okay? It's, it looks to me like you guys are... You really got it together. Look at these people are watching him juggle. They're watching him be successful, really. He's successfully drug juggling. People are amazed by your flexibility. Your ability to handle the situation. People are amazed. So keep in mind that your ability to adapt to this situation as well as you have is bringing you something, you know, because you're so flexible. You're getting some sort of blessing. You really are. Congratulations. Um, let's get some more cards here. The Seven of Wands is defending yourself, standing up for yourself. The ability to stand up for yourself is fantastic. Here we have the Emperor. Realizing that this is out of your control, that you don't need to control it. It looks like you are no longer Where am I going to put this card? Right there. It looks like you are no longer going to be controlled. Your fire is being put out for this person who tried to control you. Somebody had stolen your concentration, your focus. But it feels like you are no longer going to hang on to that. Letting go of the need to control. I think you're really going within big time. Both, I mean, you are. It's like, no, I don't want to fight. I don't want to be a part of this fight. I'm going to seclude myself from this controlling situation you win you win I think that you my dog is crying she's dreaming you are feeling some pain aren't you you are feeling some pain from this person that brought you down but I think you realize that this person has their own issues. Zoe. Zoe. 
I think you're realizing that this person has their own issues and that it's time for you to move on to a better spot. It's time to, for you to move out of this turmoil. You're dealing with a person that has control issues. You know it. And you're, tr and you're taking the time to let yourself heal from this person. I think that you are really trying to master your emotions and not hang on to it. I think that you guys are moving to a much better place. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck. This is a good change. A new chapter. It's kind of like the World Card, but a little bit different. You have a new chapter starting that was destined to, to start at this time. Good luck. I think that there's definitely one cycle of your life that, that has ended. But I don't think that you are wallowing in that. I don't. I feel like you are looking at this as a blessing. And it truly is a blessing. There's a, there's a new chapter starting for you that is meant to happen at this time to bring you something really good. There's, there's a commitment on, in the future. And it's a new one. And it's because of your faith. It's because you defend yourself. It's because you stand up for yourself. It's like destiny. The time is now. The time is now for this change to happen, to bring you what you deserve. Everything happens for a reason. You must have had to learn something. It must have been strength, right? From this person that brought you down. You must have had to learn to be flexible because you are very, you have learned. You have learned something. So, Leo, I feel as though there is a destined change of course that is coming about that is going to probably reunite you with somebody that you knew a long time ago. And it's because you take action. It's because you you take some sort of risk. You're willing to start over. It's because you defend yourself. And the universe sees your strength. We started out with the strength card. The universe sees your strength. Your ability to move in this new direction. They bring you a gift. You are receiving some sort of gift. And it's a good one. It is a really good one with that Wheel of Fortune. You have a change of course that is happening and it's bringing you something really, really, really good. With the star and the Wheel of Fortune and this full of Four of Wands. What is it bringing them? What is it bringing them? <laughs> the Ten of Wands. You're still carrying around something though, huh? You're still holding on to something that needs to go. I mean, that's what this card is. You're still hold you're still got something that needs to be let go of, Leo. This is too heavy. It's going to kill you. Some of you are holding on to something that needs to be dropped. It's overwhelming. What the hell is it? What are you guys holding on to? Are you still communicating with somebody that you shouldn't be communicating with? This control freak? Are you still communicating with this control freak? Because if you are, that's, that's going to hinder you. Because this is communication. This is move on from the communication. Master your emotions. Love yourself enough. 
You have a fresh new start waiting for you. You are destined to go down a new path towards happiness. But there's something you're still hanging on to. I just happened to look down. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Look how beautiful she is. She's on her own. She's independent. She's happy. She's got... Look at, look at her garden. Look at her abundance. Look at her security. She's got peace. She does. She's at peace. She's beautiful. She's feeling good. This is, this is a message for you. To be happy and grateful for who you are and what you have and what you've done. This is a card of self-worth, self-respect, happy independence. The storm is over. You guys have weathered a storm and come out a wiser person. More abundant than you were before. This is the sword of truth, the sword of power. It's like the universe is giving you this power, the ability to take your power back. And I feel like that is what has happened here. I feel like you guys have found the strength to take your power back and cut something out of your life because you know what you're worth. And if you haven't, the sword is being handed to you right now. I think you are dealing with a control freak that is still either holding on to you or you're holding on to them. And it needs to be released so that you can freely move in this new direction. Somebody is still holding on. It could be the control freak. Could be you. Somebody is holding on to something that is overwhelming them when they have the ability to cut. Cut it. Take this sword and cut those cords and drop this shit. Whatever it is. You have a destined change, of course, that involves somebody from your past, a reunion with somebody from your past. That could lead to commitment in marriage. Destined change, of course. A reunion with somebody from your past. And I don't think this is a past lover. I think this is an acquaintance. That could lead to commitment in marriage and happiness. I mean, look at these two. Just look at the picture. One more card. One more card for over here for this Four of Wands. Page of Cups. Yep, there's a there's an offer. There's an offer of love. But you may not be able to come out of your shell fully until you cut this. This needs to be cut. Oh my God. And there you are. There you are. I got the chills again. Find your confidence, which you already have, right? You're, 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 you're bringing back your fire. Your fire is being lit, relit, if it has been out. It looks like you guys are coming back to where you need to be. Everything that you are is being, oh, what's the word? Refound. 
okay? Look at how calm she is. She's calm, she's serene, she's comfortable, she's beautiful. I think that your beauty is coming back, your serenity. You're right, right, right where you need to be. Whoever it is, oh my God, the lovers. I was only going to do one more card, but you have an unexpected choice in love. I was going to say whoever it is that is coming into your life thinks that you are it. They think that you are, this is who they think you are. They think you're beautiful. This is an unexpected lover that is entering your life out of the blue. This is a gift, like I said, from above. You are being given a new opportunity for love with somebody that you didn't expect. This is a soulmate connection with this card in the Six of Cups. You have a new soulmate connection with somebody that is destined to enter your life at this time. So if you still need to cut ties with somebody, I suggest you take that sword and cut the last strings. Because you are being blessed with a new beginning. With a soulmate. Somebody that you knew a long time ago. It's an unexpected choice in love being given to you from this angel. I think it's Raphael. I don't know. This person is going to love you for who you are. They don't care about what you look like. They're going to love the skin that you're in. So, Leo, I feel if you have been waiting for somebody to enter your life, the it's, it could absolutely positively happen very, very quickly at the end of October. I see a destined change of course. You have just completed one chapter in your life, and I think that that completion is... is um, bringing you a fresh new start, a new beginning, like almost overnight. It's so quick. I think this transition happens very, very quickly. I don't think, I think you go from being in a very controlling, manipulative situation that was overwhelming to being independent to right back in another relationship. <laughs> Let's get a couple of these and see what comes up. There's definitely an unexpected love connection here that you didn't expect to happen. And it's because you found your strength to remove yourself from a destructive situation. These two fell out. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Children, your love life is being affected by children, however that resonates with you. I feel like you guys have received some sort of communication or you're receiving communication from this, uh, I think from two people, okay, because I think from two people, one person is the controlling person that doesn't want to let you go, and the other person is the new person, and I feel like you are ready for this fresh new start, and I think it's here. I think that this opportunity has been given to you from above. And it's a divine soulmate connection that I would not turn down for a second. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. Choose love. So I feel like there's one more thing that you need to do. You need to cut the, the last cords. You need to cut the communication because this is communication and this is communication with whoever this controlling individual is. If they're, You need to do whatever you got to do to cut the communication. And once you do that, this new love will blossom into something that is destined to lead to happiness, okay? It is. 
So, I, you know, I feel like there is, I mean, I keep, what more can I say? This is destiny, okay? This is destiny and fate. This is happiness, commitment. This is an unexpected choice in love with a divine partner. This is a soulmate connection with somebody that you have known a long time ago. I mean, this is what this is. So I feel like you have an opportunity for a fresh new start with somebody that you have known before. And it's meant to be. I mean, what more can I say? Congratulations. It's safe for you to love. Good luck. 